utterly amazing how many different kinds of rape there are. There's Italian rape. Uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, quante lire? Look into my eyeballs, you will see the fire. How much lira have you got? Uh, only a quarter? Oh, Madonna, you didn't daughter. For that, I'll have your daughter. <laughs> Japanese rape, of course. American rape is full of hate, we're told practically every minute of the hour. And the way we're going, we'll never be late, except for that date with impatient black power. Beginnings of Chinese rape. Endless. One does need time, as any Englishman will explain, if only to apologize for the agonized inconvenience caused to Mother Nature's forbidden walls. In France, of course, where fun is greedy, the women are a little more seedy, and rape is hardly ever necessary. So even if the Frank is down, la plume de ma tante is always up and around. In Germany, it isn't always remembered, but with Liszt, Wagner and Tannhauser, the rape is synonymous with boots, bunkers and mousers, which makes it all comparatively kinky, with gas thrown in to get rid of the stinky. In Russia, it's far too cold for anything so bold, and being notoriously political, if a trifle hypocritical, rape becomes piratical, and Czechoslovakia are far more suitable. which makes the whole thing rather nasty, tasteless and rather hasty. But as Jason King would say, it depends so much on what you fancy.